Problem number four reads, a tuning fork that vibrates with a frequency of 392 hertz is held above a column of air. The length of the column is increased by moving a piston down. The air in the tube resonates with the tuning fork when the length of the air column is 22 centimeters and again when the length is 65.5 centimeters. From this information, calculate the speed of sound in the air. Let's take a look at that column of air first. We have a tuning fork that resonates at a frequency of 392 hertz held above the column of air. A piston in the column of air will move downwards, increasing the length of this closed tube. We will hear resonance at two points as evidenced by an increase in the loudness of the sound at those resonance points. Let's listen to it. Resonance there. And resonance there. With that information, you are to find the velocity of sound in the air in this tube. Turn off your VCR at this point and try to solve that problem before watching its solution. We have in this problem essentially a closed pipe, a pipe closed at one end with a variable length which resonates at two different lengths to the frequency 392 hertz. We're asked to find the velocity of sound in this tube. The velocity of sound in the tube is equal to the frequency of the sound multiplied by the wavelength. The frequency is 392 hertz. The wavelength we don't know, but we can find. At the first resonant point, the length of the tube is equal to one quarter wavelength, where we have a node at the closed end and an anti-node at the open end. At the second resonance point, a standing wave in the tube looks like this, where again we have a node at the closed end and an anti-node at the open end. The length of the tube here is equal to three quarters of the wavelength. The distance between the two nodes in a standing wave is equal to one half the wavelength. So one half the wavelength must then be equal to the difference 65 0.5 centimeters minus 22.0 centimeters which is equal to 43.5 centimeters. Therefore the wavelength itself is twice 43.5 or 87 centimeters which we can write as 0.87 meters. The velocity of sound then is equal to the frequency times that wavelength. So the velocity of sound in the tube is equal to the frequency 392 per second multiplied by 0.87 meters. And if you carry out that multiplication, you come out with 341 meters per second as the speed of sound in the tube. All right, that's the answer to our problem. Let's move on then to our fifth problem.